Yesterday, Clayton Kershaw said Dave told him prior to that sixth inning there was a plan that he was going to face two batters and take him out. What about for you? Was there any sort of conversation that he had with you about who you were going to face? Uh, not before the game, no, but I went into the sixth inning knowing that I was going to get Marco. Uh, after he got the two quick outs, I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get him. And then uh, they stuck to the plan and uh, I went up there. There wasn't a necessary pitch count. Dave had just said two batters. So when he did come to you and say, all right, you're going in for Margot, was, what was the level of surprise for you? Uh, well, I mean, I had known for about six batters that I was going to get Margot, so uh, I wasn't very surprised. Um, I was more so excited to just get in and get my opportunity. Again. You mentioned the excitement. What has this experience of pitching in this postseason also in a World Series done for you? Uh, it's just opened up my eyes to the the amount of focus that guys put into the postseason and the amount of like skill that everybody has. I mean, they come out and they give out their best opportunities every night and they match up very well against us. So it's been a very exciting series so far. Thank you. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Dustin, what's today like knowing that tomorrow night you guys might win the World Series? Any nerves, excitement? How's, how's that going today? No, I'm just trying to keep a level head. I mean, being able to win a World Series is very huge, but the um, job's not finished yet. So we got to get there and we got to we got to win tomorrow. We got to win tomorrow. So we got to wait till tomorrow to get out there and go do it. Any plans in the bubble today? Uh, no, not for me. Just kind of relax and get my work in here at the field and then get a good night's sleep. Thank you. Next question is from Tim Brown. Go ahead. Dustin, when you get out of the bubble after a month, what's the one thing you're most looking forward to doing? Uh, well, I just bought a house, so I'm going to have to furnish it. So uh, that's what I've been kind of thinking about the whole time. So uh, that's that's about it. Where's that? Uh, it's here in Texas. Great. Enjoy it. Next question from Claudia Agesto. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, I know you guys don't want to think about a game seven at all, but how anxious are you guys to be done with the series after living in this bowl this season? I mean, I don't think we're anxious to be leaving. I mean, we're, we're just excited to be here to have the opportunity to play in the <laughs> series and be able to chance, be able to have a chance to go home with some hardware. I mean, we're, we're super excited for it. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Dave said that uh, he had a little talk with you yesterday before the game, and he thought the biggest difference when you got to the mound was you weren't as amped up and you weren't uh, overthrowing. What uh, what kind of adjustments did you make? What did that conversation feel like? Oh, well, I just had to make some mechanical cues in my delivery to uh, kind of smoothen it out and get back to the norms. So, I mean, last night I definitely felt more more normal and more – composed I would say um, throwing ball can you look back at those other outings and kind of recognize that you were uh, a little too excited uh, I mean not not really I mean it I don't necessarily wouldn't say I was too excited I mean my my delivery was out of whack so it was kind of throwing kind of everything off so I just wasn't executing pitches thanks Dustin Next question from Tyler Kepner. Go ahead. Yeah, Dustin, um, if they need you in game six, um, you know, on one day rest, how how crisp, you know, do you feel your stuff would be? Because it was electric last night. No, I mean, I like I said earlier in one of the interviews, I, I bounced back pretty quick, so um, I should be ready. And uh, who is that on your, on your shirt? Is it a Brooklyn Dodger guy? It looks like. Uh, I honestly have no idea. I just oh. like to be very comfortable, so that's why I wear it. Okay, thanks. Next question is from Brooks Smith. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin. Going off of uh, Bill's question a little bit, uh, last night, I don't remember what the exact count was, but it was almost 20 of your pitches, I think, reached tw uh, triple digits. Is that more of a mechanical adjustment that you're talking about, or is that a little bit just being amped up by the situation? No, I mean, I definitely think it was mechanical. Uh, just being able to sink down to my legs a little more and not and not just kind of fall towards home plate, kind of drive, uh, 
definitely allowed me to have more strength going forward. So uh, last night was very well. Got a question from Daniel Lombroso. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, how important are the Mexican pitchers for the team, Julio and Victor? And how's your what's your relationship with them? No, they're great. I'm, they're great teammates. I mean, I, I've gotten really close with Julio this year, and uh, especially since we were in Arizona together during quarantine. I mean, we, we were around each other almost every day, so we got to talk a lot. And uh, just being here in the, the postseason together, around each other every day, they're both, they're both phenomenal guys. And got another question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Nope, forgot to put my hand down. We got one question from John Radigan. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, Dustin, wondering about just pitching in, in the backyard of where you grew up and, and uh, how many people you have had that have been able to come and watch you pitch, uh, you know, during this, during these couple of series. Yeah, I've had a, I've, a, I've had a lot of friends and family being able to come out, um, my mom and dad have been in every single game, so that's been really nice to have them here and supporting and being able to come and come and watch. So uh, it's been really fun for them, and looking forward to the next few games. I know in some ways it doesn't feel like you know you didn't go to games in this place, but you are in Arlington. You're you know in the backyard of of where you grew up. Is that um, is that surreal? How does that feel to you to be pitching on such a big stage here? No, it's something that I dreamed about as a kid, being being here in Arlington, throwing throwing in big games. I mean, I grew up a Rangers fan, so being able to to be in the the new stadium is is pretty cool. Awesome, thank you. Next question is from Dave Vasse. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, as close as you and Tony are, how much do you guys talk to each other the night before? You know, one of these type of games. Do you feel like he'll bounce some things off of you? Will you be kind of a good ear for him uh, on the eve of maybe his biggest start? Uh, I mean, it really just depends on the day. I mean, some days we talk a lot about baseball and some days we don't talk anything about baseball. I mean, it, it's not really anything set in stone with the way that we conversate before a start or whatnot. I mean, we've been throwing pretty much back and forth as starters for three years now. So, um, just, he's going to go out and he's going to do his thing. He's going to dominate. Thank you. I have another question from Jorge. Go ahead. Uh, Dustin, how much better of a pitcher do you believe you are um, now compared to that opening day start? And in, which, in what ways do you feel like you're better? Uh, I'm just, I feel like I've become more of a pitcher, uh, being able to mix uh, my off speed stuff in there more and being able to land it is has been huge, uh, especially when I was a starter towards the end of the year. Um, I feel like using that going forward is going to, to help me out a lot. Thank you. Next question from Skyler, go ahead. Dustin, you experienced a little bit of postseason last year in a packed stadium. How noticeable is the difference, if at all, with the limited crowd? And, and how much of a difference, if at all, was there between the LCS and the World Series in this setting? I mean, just kind of touching on what Tony said, I mean, there's definitely more Dodgers fans here. So whenever whenever the things happen for us, they definitely are cheering a little louder. So uh, it's nice to have our, our fans behind our backs. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Dustin, you've had to pitch in obviously some big games to this run, but to, to get the call in, in that spot um, last night when a game that you guys needed, obviously, to win and, and hold a lead, I mean, what did that show you? What did that mean to you that they wanted you in that spot? I mean, it just shows me that they have a lot of confidence and trust in me to go out and get the job done and uh, being able to go out and execute pitches and, and close the door behind Kirsch. Um, it's a pretty phenomenal feeling, so excited for the next one. Thanks.